Oh, sorry, I was listening to the music. <laughs> Never mind, new scenario is on its way. Let me get the header changed. 101 for Portsmouth by Axieg. <clears throat> PDL dispatch. Good morning. Line is clear all the way to Portsmouth, so you should have no trouble keeping this timetable. Pick up passengers here. So we are driving a buggy. A class 101. We're on the sort of the fringes of the line, the fringe stylings of the line. Um, we're over here. And the line actually, all the scenery goes up there. Um, but we're starting here, so we can start from a slightly different place. Uh, and then we're driving all the way down to there. Right, so I need to get that into there. Uh, that music, by the way, is uh, it's sort of like a chilled, mellow version of the main theme tune, and it's done by the same people, so many thanks to um, Strat Shadow and his group. Right, good, next stop is Haven, and the scheduled arrival is 9.05. Right, 40 limit, green signal, AWS is good. I'm wrecking this gearbox, something crazy. There. I was busy trying to get the uh, a brake gauge working over here so that I could easily see what's going on without having to look down there all the time. That's better. Having it on the gauge here is much hand much more handy. One oh one. Doesn't that bring back memories? Uh, Dave, why in Miss in Tier Sixteen passengers are you don't see freight trains, just passenger AI workings? I have no idea. Presumably it's just a coincidence with how the scenario has been set up. Okay, where are we going now? Bithampton. Hampton's coming up. 
still got green though. That's good. We're already running late though. Deadly Dorito dropped his iPhone on a platform and it broke. <laughs> You're right, this is a funny story. <laughs> Possibly not for the reasons you thought it would be. <laughs> uh, sorry. I <laughs> couldn't help that. Right. Yeah, that Deltix probably is a bit lost, Chris, but you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> right, so we're uh, we're gonna we're gonna get across on this one, but never mind. Running a 101 on a service, I think no one ever would, would ever expect a class 101 to ever be on time for anything. Mr. Train Cow from Oak says to insert this, then you should probably give the tech support team a uh, a ticket and uh, ask it to get some advice from them. Because they should be able to help you with that. <coughs> right, three miles to Hilsey. The NSF, this is the DPS Portsmouth, it, it says just up there. says it just there. Oh dear. Right. Still got green lights. Coming to hit the hook. So much for that. Must be for the reduction in speed. Let's cruise down to 60. Still got green lights. We're down to 60.
Don't forget, folks, if anything funky happens on the stream, you can always press the clip button. And record it on Video Gamey. Right, we're now late, but that means is we're within the minute. We managed to gain that time back. Which is pretty awesome. Right. Will there be a brake fan in the 14XX scenario? Uh, I don't know. I've not really run it. All I've seen, I load tested it and it looked like a loco and a red uh, coach. Right, next up is Fratton. Local and red coach, excellent description. There you go. Well, it's a 14 XX, obviously, and it's the uh, the rail car that goes with it. But it's the red one. <laughs> I don't know. It might be a steam rail motor. I don't know. Guys, yes, this is a Steam Workshop scenario. In fact, it's a Steam Workshop scenario on a Steam Workshop route. It's uh, 101 for Portsmouth by Axig. Axig is on the uh, is on the chat, and uh, the route is DPS Portsmouth direct line. GJ Dobsy, oh hey, that's it. Dobsy's the author of the scenario we're going to do next. So it's 46 with your auto coach. That's the word I was trying. I was struggling and failing miserably to come up with. Right, coming into Fratton now. We fraternising with the uh, maintenance crew. Horror, horror, horror.
37 over there. I like why it's just running training the workshop scenarios. One of the reasons I like running them is because I've, I've never seen them before, which means it's all, it's got that sort of that discovery you get for um, from doing train spotting. It's like ooh ooh, there's a 37 over there. So I don't know why that excites me so much, but it does. You know what? Don't judge me. <laughs> Right. Oh, 37. Oh, yes, 37. Portsmouth and South Sea. <laughs> you want to class thirty seven at Warrington? Excellent. limit coming up. BMJ Epic do I like the class one five eight real over run by Northern Rail. I've never been on one to be honest. I'm not really as well travelled on the railways as I perhaps ought to be. Twenty-five limit just coming into now, and then we're on no approach for South Port and South Sea. We have a fifteen limit just as we cut about halfway between here and the uh, and the platform. Right, we're down to the 15, and we can proceed in. Oh, Southern EMU over there. Looks like a Southern EMU. Ah, nice. A nice boggies. Excellent. Right, we're coming up to the platform now. Hey trucker man, welcome to the stream. But I missed some follows, do apologise. I have to, I do, oh dear. Just have a look, get stopped and then I'll call out some names. Right, so who have I missed? Snooky147, Limi061, Fungi2112. Well, I think I have said those already. Well, thanks, anybody. Thanks, anyway. Thanks again. <laughs> Do you need a powerful PC to use track IR? Not particularly, no. Cheers, Deadly Dorito. No more powerful than you need to run the game itself, put it that way. Next stop is Portsmouth Harbour, 926.
Right, we're at 15 limit at the moment, so we can't go too far. Cheers, Grandpa Bear. Hope everything gets sorted for you. Yeah, we're in the slow bit. 40 limit, let's make the most of it while we can. Deltic Dan wants the horn. There's some horn. Right, we're going to start slowing down again in a minute. We've got another Deltic here. I approve. AWS alarm for the 15, I presume. Oh no, for the double yellow. Alright, we're on approaching now to Portsmouth. Shh. Smack that smacky button. Right, we're coming into Portsmouth. Dave wants to know if I'm going to be dressing up in a cape to scare the kids even more. I don't know what I'm going to do for Halloween, actually. Should we do, um, what do you, what do you folks fancy? Should we do, um, and just spend an evening doing Halloween DLCs? Do some Trains vs. Zombies 1 and 2, do some, uh, gnomes, um, not gnomes, um, oh god, what's that other one that was done for Halloween? I can't remember, it was done, Skyhook did it. Do that one. Just do a few scenarios from that, intermix with other stuff maybe because they're only generally short scenarios. Right, there we go. Please dress up. I guess I could dress up. We we'll do. I think we we'll do a little bit of Halloween DLC for uh, um, for the Halloween evening show. Assuming that we're streaming on October on, on Halloween, of course. I haven't checked. What day is Halloween? Oh, Count of Monster Disco. Yes, Dave. That's the one. Right. Scenario incomplete because I got an X, I think, on one station actually. I think the rest of them I got there on time for. Picked up passengers of four out of seven, so three I was a bit late for. Meh. <laughs> oh, it's Saturday, is it? October 31st. So in that case, maybe Friday's show will be the Halloween show then. Or I'll do a special stream on the Saturday. We shall see. We shall see. Right. Switch back to changing route. Enjoy some music while I have another drink and get ready for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> 